Environments of Our Earth by Lawrence F. Lowry. The surface of our earth is made up of water and land. There is more water on our earth than there is land. Rain brings much of the water to the land, but some parts of our earth get more rain than other parts. Living things need water to live. Many living things grow well where there is a good supply of water. Fewer living things grow where there is very little water. The places where living things live are called environments. One of the wettest environments on our earth is Mount Wailei on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. It rains on Mount Wailei nearly every day. Mount Wailei gets nearly 500 inches of rainfall every year. Environments on our earth that have a great amount of rain all year long are called tropical rainforests. Many types of plants such as shrubs, herbs, and vines grow close together in tropical rainforests. Some plants grow very large and tall. Tall, broad leaf evergreen trees branch out and cover the rainforest like a canopy. Many types of animals such as colorful birds, reptiles, monkeys, and insects live in the thick rainforest. There is no winter in a tropical rainforest. These warm, wet environments can be found near Earth's equator in places such as South America, Africa, and Indonesia. A rainy but cooler place is called a woodland environment. In a woodland environment, large trees grow close together. Ferns, mosses, and mushrooms grow on the woodland floor among the tall trees. Wolves, foxes, bears, and squirrels build their homes in thick woodland environments. Some of our Earth's woodland environments are found in North America, Asia, Africa, Spain, and Chile. Savannas are environments that have much less rain than woodland environments. Savannas have a short dry period each year. On savannas, there is much more grass growing than other plants and trees. On savannas, trees do not grow very tall. They usually grow alone or in small groups that seem to dot the grasslands. Some animals that live in the savanna environment are leopards, cheetahs, elephants, giraffes, lions, and zebras. Unless paths have been made by people or animals, it is difficult to walk through the thick, coarse grasses of the savanna. Some places where the savanna environment is found on our earth are Africa, South America, and Australia. Prairies are another kind of grassland. The tall grasses of the prairies get much less water than the tall grasses in the savannas. Most of the rainfall on the prairies comes during the summer season. Even though there is enough water for grasses, herbs, and shrubs to grow, trees seldom grow in prairie environments. Nobody knows why. Some animals that live in the prairie environment are the badger, bobcat, bumblebee, fox, coyote, prairie dog, and American bald eagle. In the spring and summer, flowering plants bloom among the grasslands in the prairies. At this time of the year, the American prairie looks like a colorful flower garden. Some prairie environments can be found in Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. An environment that gets less rain than a prairie is another kind of grassland called a steppe. A small amount of rain falls on the steppe in the late spring and early summer. On a steppe, the grasses are shorter and make the land look like it is covered with an endless carpet.
cattle, sheep, and horses graze on the steppe. At one time, great herds of bison wandered over this kind of grassland in the United States. Some steppe environments can be found in China, South America, and the United States. The desert environment is a place where few plants can grow because of the small amount of rainfall. Where there is so little rain, many desert plants such as sage and cactus store water in their thin stems. The horned lizard, iguana, kit fox, and pack rat are some of the animals that live in the desert environment. Most do not drink water. They get water from eating plants and seeds that store water. Many desert animals live underground during the day to stay out of the heat. Some deserts are almost completely without water. On such deserts, winds sometimes blow the sand to create small hills or dunes. One of the driest places on earth is the Atacama Desert in Chile. It rains so little there that the rainfall usually cannot be measured. On our earth, very large deserts can be found in North America, South America, Africa, Australia, and the Antarctic. Water is an important part of every environment in which plants and animals live. Some environments have great amounts of water while some have very little. Plants and animals have adapted to be able to live in these different environments. People can help preserve the different environments so the plants and animals that live in them will continue to be on our earth for a long, long time. Plow readers, what did you learn about the environments of our earth? Turn and tell your buddy. Good job readers.